Right. Good morning, students. Um, having covered various types of random sampling, now let's move on to something which is purely based on uh, the investigator's instinct and his understanding of the sample. Therefore, he will use his own thinking, rational and judgment in deciding the sample and the components of it. What we call it as non-random sampling. Right, students? We'll take the first method of non-random sampling today, that is judgment sampling. I quote an example, students. All of you are aware of it, that National Education Policy 2020 is out and has brought some important changes, right? Some of them good, some of them not so good, right? Now, in that, what is more important to understand is that if, if a sample size has to be picked to understand whether the policy is being accepted with, you know, a thumbs up or had it has been generally criticized by the people, we have to take a sample which is based on the people who are understanding the small nuances of this national education policy. Now, it's no point asking, let's say, for example, Virat Kohli to be a part of sample when he might be having a limited knowledge of NEP. But it might be better that a teacher or a professor who might be, who might have taught him in the school or the college might be a better element to be included in the sample. So the person, the investigator will choose the sample which will include the teachers, the professor based on the judgment and understanding who will analyze the policy and accordingly, whatever the answer will come will be generalized accordingly. Now that is what you call it as judgment sampling. Clear? Sample is decided on the basis of the judgment of the investigator. A very good method because it gives a proper representation. The sample chosen is from the people who are really having the knowledge about the field and are representing the properties of the topic in a manner which is justified. Second one, irrelevant items are not taken in this, irrelevant will not come. I hope all of you are understanding it as such. Now, that is what judgment sampling is all about. The only issue with this one is that certain element of bias may creep in. So if that bias creeps in, then sample may go for a little bit of a distortion. Bias in selection of the person. The person who is the investigator or the numerator should not be going in favor of a particular type of a decision and therefore pick the people who think he thinks will answer accordingly. Now that will not solve the objective of the, uh, the sampling or investigation. So bias is one thing which may go against this particular method. It is also called as students purposive sampling. So remember the other name, apart from judgment sampling, it is also called as purposive sampling. Thank you.